Hi, welcome to VisiBots. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to show you a really unique design on Thingiverse called the Gear Bearing by Thingiverse user Emmett. This is an example of something that would be difficult or perhaps impossible to print, uh, sorry not print, to create without a 3D printer, without additive manufacturing. This is a, a bearing that's both a thrust bearing and a radial bearing and it's printed all in one piece. Um, you'll have to do a little bit of experimentation to find out the right settings for your printer but due to the uh, customization tool in Thingiverse, it's pretty easy to generate different STLs with slightly different settings. You print off a few of them, find out which works, and you're good to go. I found that these wouldn't spin right off the printer. They're, the tolerances are really tight. And so what I found is it's best to do is to take a hammer and give it a few wraps, put it on a firm surface, spin it around, just to help to separate the bonds between the, the, the gears and the ring. Now this one I printed at a tolerance of 0.15 and what I found is that I couldn't break it loose. Uh, this is a 6 millimeter Allen key. I can put it through the center and basically the, the center strips out before I get a chance to spin it around. It, it almost looks like it might break free and spin but I stripped out the center. So that's tight. So after the 0.15 I tried a 0.3. I did the same trick with the hammer put the Allen in and nice spins spins really well hope you hopefully you can see that I'll do a closer up and I'll put it on the electric drill give it a workout spins really nice and there's not very much play in there and it's got it's got really good uh, it's really good bearing I'm not sure how this would last how long it would last but I, I had the feeling it would, it would hold up pretty well so that's a point three uh, this is a point four that I printed at the same time as the point three, and this one hasn't had as much wear and time on the drill, so a little tighter, but it was much easier to separate. Now I have another point four right here, which I haven't done anything to yet, and I'm going to see if I can crack it open and get it staying right here on camera. So I'll just give it a few wraps around the circumference, just to help break those bonds. Get the uh, wrench in there, and let's see if I can spin it around without stripping out the center. There we go. All right, hopefully you can see that. I'll do a close-up. That's nice, okay? So for me, for my printer, 0.4 tolerance setting in the customizer. This is printed in ABS plastic. I printed these on a Illuminatus RepRap. You can print these on just about any RepRap, I'd imagine. Uh, I don't know about PLA, I've only tried it in, in ABS. Nice. I recommend you probably, uh, well, you can just try one setting and print one. If you don't mind burning the plastic a little extra time, maybe pick two settings and uh, try it, burn two STLs and see which one prints for you. Uh, let me check it up in the drill, show it to you how it works. Then I'll come back, we'll take a look at the customizer. Fire up your favorite web browser and go to Thingiverse.com. You can search for the gear bearing by Thingiverse user Emmett, or you can check the uh, notes below the video. I'll provide the, the URL. If you're not already familiar with Customizer, uh, very briefly, it's a front end for OpenSCAD. And what it does is a, you don't have to learn how to use OpenSCAD. You just punch in the numbers that you want here, and then you can make a new STL by clicking down here on Create Thing. The variable we're talking about today is this setting here, the tall clearance. I believe the default was 0.15. At 0.15, I wasn't able to break the gears free from the ring. My second set was 0.3. At 0.3, I was able to, um, to break it free and spin the bearing nicely, but uh, 0.4 worked better for me. So pick your settings, change what you want to change. You can change a variety of things, and it'll give you real-time preview if you want to change the number of plants. Uh, I found that it doesn't always update properly. Let's see what it does here. Change the planets from 5 to 3. There we go. There we go. So that's pretty good. And then you can, uh, when, once you have it set the way you want, click on Create Thing. Now by default, you'll notice that uh, this will normally be checked for you, I believe. And that if you publish it, it means it'll show up on the, the front page of Thingiverse and everyone will see your STL. And if that's what you want, that's fine. If you're experimenting, I recommend you uncheck it and then it's basically like a private STL that only you can see. You can decide to publish it later if you wish. Give it a name that makes sense. 
uh, I like to um, fill in whatever variables I change from the default. Click on Create Thing. And then when you can go to your go to your queue and download your STL and run your print.